Hey, how's it going? Leap code 1814. Count nice pairs in an array. You're given an array nums that consists of non-negative integers. Let us define rev x as the reverse of the non-negative integer x. For example, rev 123 is 3, 2, 1. Rev 120 is 2, 1. A pair of indices, i, j, is nice if it satisfies all of the following conditions. 0 is less than or equal to i is less than j is less than nums plus length. Nums plus i plus rev nums of j equals nums of j plus rev nums of i. Return the number of nice pairs of indices. Since the number can be too large, return it modulo 10 to the ninth plus 7. Okay, so let us set up the modulo first. 10 to the ninth plus 7. Now we got to generate the reverses, so we're going to say uh, reverse equals i for i in nums, and then uh, we're going to have to convert it to a string, and we're going to have to reverse it, and then we're going to have to turn it back into a string. Um, here, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, print rev, and then uh, return zero so it doesn't give us an error. Um, I'm still not used to the run button being moved. Okay, so you see we had uh, 42, now we have 24. We had 11, well that's 11, and 97 becomes 79. Uh, then we just need to convert that back to an integer, and there we go. So... Now, full disclaimer, I did look at this problem for a few minutes before I began, so I'm, I'm not as brilliant as, as it might appear. But let's start off by implementing this naively. Um, length nums, and then i plus length, or i plus one, excuse me, two length nums. Um, Probably the first thing you should notice is that this is symmetrical. The only thing that this condition is doing is saying that you shouldn't count things twice. So, oh, there can be more than one, can't there? Oh, ho, ho, I wasn't thinking of that. All right, okay, we're going to have to use a counter, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, all right. Let's take a look here. So for i in range length, no, we're going to say if nums of i plus reverse of j equals, and then it's basically the same thing, but it's just uh, nums of j reverse of i. Um, if that's the case, then we're going to have some counter t equals 0. I mean, how big could it possibly be? 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 5th. Um, 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 5th minus 1. That's not even that big. Is it just, is it bigger than, uh... okay, that's why they want the modulo, is so that it doesn't overflow. Uh, there's no reason that we can't do this as a final step, though. It's not, like, going to, like, blow up or anything. Okay, um, uh, then we're just going to increment this by 1. Plus having trouble pressing equals, but whatever. All right, run. All right. Now, when I was looking at this before, I got this far, and then it's like, okay, now what? How do you simplify this? Um, actually, uh, this is the trick that I came up with. Combine just a little basic algebra here. We're going to combine all of the i's and the j's. You can verify that you still get the same number, you know. 
Um, yeah, yeah. So so it looks something like that, and we can calculate this. We can call this um, I don't know uh, diff diff equals um, nums of i minus rev of i for i in range length nums. And then all we have to say is if diff i equals diff j, then we increment it. Should give us the same value. All right, but this is still n squared. So it would time out for big numbers. How are we going to deal with that? Well, like I said, this condition is only preventing us from doing duplicates. So there's no reason <laughs> that that we have to go through this array more than once. So let's say uh, counter, and we'll call this uh, scene. Whoa, apparently I thought I was writing Java or something. Scene equals counter. Um, and it'll just be uh, diff values. Um, in fact, I don't think we need to do any of this. We can just say diff. So we want to see existing diffs of the current scene. So t plus equals diff. Uh, no, equals scene of i. And then scene of i equals scene of i plus 1, so that it can be used again in the future. And we're going to run this, and hopefully I didn't screw up, because that would be really embarrassing. Uh, looks like it's good. That was, uh, that was pretty fun. All right, see ya. Hey, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't leave it like that. This is gonna drive me insane. Um, so, uh, first off, let's, let's put this down here. And let's make this one in line. So, um, if I do that, then this will have to be nums of I, I guess. Uh, and then I'm going to take this, and this is going to be rev right here. So there's no more rev. Rev is gone. Still give me the right answer. I haven't screwed anything up yet, have I? All right, cool. And then... <laughs> yeah, not, uh, not this. So... T equals sum of i times i minus 1. They're the same thing. We already have the counter. We don't need to do that nonsense, whatever we're doing. For i in scene dot uh, values, the counts. And it doesn't even matter what the numbers are. And uh, we can... Eh. Can I put this directly in here? Invalid syntax. Okay, I guess I can't put it directly in there unless I make it a list, which I think is kind of silly. Uh, what did I do? I oh. Wait, is that what it was mad about, not this? There, oh boy. Oh, look at that, it's, uh, it's doubled. That's because I forgot the symmetry. Whoopsie. Actually. Integer divide by two first. Yeah. This can come down here. This can go away. This can go away. This can go away. Run. Work. 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 All right. That 
is better. Okay, I'm happier now.